Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jay and welcome back to another episode on the Crux SMP server. In today's episode, this is episode four, so we're gonna be doing a tour, a little tour of our base. And the reason why we're doing a little tour is because we haven't been recording in a while. I've been over at my cousin's house and there's been a lot of noise in the background and I didn't wanna make a video where there's a bunch of noise in the background. So I have to wait until I got home to make this video here. So let's get on with our tour. So first place we're on a tour is that place right over there. Okay, right here is where we've been doing a lot of work. So uh, I believe I was shown the sugarcane farm and the wheat farm, so we're not gonna talk about those. We've been having thunderstorms on a server and it's a good thing because we get a bunch of these horses just like this. We're gonna have a skeleton shop, skeleton horse shop. Oh, sorry, skeleton horse shop later in the future. So please be tuned for that. So right here, we have our automatic chick farm. We got a few stacks of chickens in there. We got our cow farm. We don't have any cows right now. There's cows in there. I'm letting them breed in there so we can get a bunch of adult cows. And then we're gonna let them drop down into their stupid Skype. So then right over here, we have our melon and pumpkin farm. When I press the button, it hits the melons and pumpkins right there. Right there. Let me go fix that Skype. It's really annoying. Okay, so we're back now. Let's talk about the laggy, laggy industrial area. So right over, over here, right off the back, we have a bunch of villagers because we do have a villager trading system, not trading system, a villager breeder, infinite villager breeder up here. And there's about a hundred or so villagers in here. As you can see, it doesn't look like hundred, so it looks more like 30 or something. But once I put in a three, you can see top right hand corner, left hand right here, it says 98. I go a little bit further to so see going 102. I'm gonna look straight up, it's not really uh, nothing up here because it, it matters where the cursor is. So if I look down there, uh, I guess it's still, I don't <laughs> I know there's not 60 villagers down there. But right here, there's about 100, 100 and so right here, which is really crazy. That's why my computer's lagging up so much because of all of those villagers. Now, let's go over here in this area. Don't worry, I got feather phone too. Let me take that screen down. Right here is a industrial snow golem farm. Uh, you break the snow and then after a while that block retreats back and then all the snowballs drop and then it retreats back so you can break some more and make some more snowballs. Right now we have a lot of snow that we can make at the snow box so we can start on the Iron Golem farm. So now let's drive down to a big hole of death and we'll, we'll catch you guys back when I'm done with that. So right off the back in the water you see we have this amazing diamond shaped uh, magma block thing. I love, I love how I did that. So we drop down here, take a little bit of fall damage and we got this amazing hallway. I need to light up a little bit. But we come down here in the amazing hallway. I'm not gonna showcase the XP room because I already have. I'm just gonna showcase showcase this part right here. So this thing has been making a bunch of lag. So because it's making a bunch of lag, a lot of people want to use it because it's so good. So now we're selling it. Uh, you put one diamond inside of there, and the old doors open up. And to get back, there's a button right over there. Oh no, it's not. It's right there. You press that, and you can get back. And that's all for this showcase room right now. So let's go back, back, and go in another. Now that we're in the nether, this is our transportation uh, system room, whatever, uh, to get back and forth from spawn to other people's bases. And this right here is a elevator. It goes down and up. You could just drop down. You don't take fall damage when you drop down because you hit the spider wheels. But if the spider wheel wasn't here, you would take half of your heart and with no gear or armor or anything like that because of the, um, the hay thing, whatever this thing right here is. So the way that this works, you press, oops, you press the button right there. The piston goes down and up really fast, which carries you up, as you can see there. Up, 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 and it keeps going up, up, up until you're all the way up there. So now the reason why I actually made this system right here is if I make myself a boat real fast. There we go. How many people are on the server? Wow. But yeah, if I make this boat right quick, you can see I go like really freaking fast, like... I think I hit that. Freaking armor stand. This, this is a troll. This must be a troll. I didn't put this here. Somebody had to put that there. Oops, just for being a troll. Here we go again. I'll catch you guys back when I'm done. So right up here, as you can see, we do have a little boat killer thingy. Uh, I don't know what happened to that hopper. I have no clue what happened to that hopper. But the way that it works is the boats, uh, you run into the cactuses right here and the cactuses actually break the boat. And when they break the boat, they fall into this hopper, which then goes into a dispenser down there. So when I press the button there, a boat pops up and then you could just get in the boat and keep on going. But for now, we're just going to do that. But once you do that, if you get stuck like that, you can just jump back up, 
come up the elevator here here <clears throat> anyway that this one works is when somebody's coming across they could just boom hit that and jump down but if you're not coming across you um coming across and then you just you know get in your boat and you just go you just go so now that we're back at here we can go up our elevator right now it's a little bit loud because of pistons so once you're up here you can just go in either direction go left or right whatever you want to go but for this uh video we're going to go to spawn actually so let's you know hop on this one since we're at spawn let's what would be a better time to look up all the shops look at all these shops that people have look there goes benny right there shopping up uh, where's the sign shops there we go Hey Benny, I think he's AFK right now or whatever. So this is his magma shop or whatever. And our dish shop is a farmer's market coming soon. I don't know whose shop this is. I just Benny, I know Benny made this shop right here. Uh, this is in his enchantment shop, I believe, right? Wood shop actually, so wood shop, huh? I will be visiting this shop. It's a nice shop, throw payments behind desk. Hmm, I like that, it's really neat. I like this shop. Uh, right here, I need to light this up. This is our wool shop actually we need to you know do some more stuff in it only oh, i don't know what that is the only thing that's selling right now is the white wool it doesn't look like anybody's been buying any white wool and this this in here it, we don't have enough to actually sell it so we're not going to be selling that all we're selling right now is white wool until we get a plant farm and then we can get a bunch of plants and we have a bunch of lapis for blue bots blocks but you know right here is a rv pinky's food truck huh it's a nice looking rv what does it say so Pinky has a really nice food truck, I would like to say myself. Uh, props to Pinky on making the food truck. This is our skeleton shop right here. All we have is one, two skeletons actually. We have two skeletons for sale. So guys, I decided to end this episode off on some shaders and some nice looking crap here. And this is my little uh, trash chest. Uh, you can see <laughs> guys over here is helping us with some trash of mine. I don't really need it. And for the last little bit of the A's episode, I wanted to go over my armor real fast with you guys. So I got me a protection three and breaking three, fire falling two, manning death strider three, diamond boots. I got me some leggings, basic leggings. I need better leggings. Uh, for my chest plate, I got unbreaking three, fire protection four, thorns two, and mending. I also got a protection four and breaking three, restoration three, aqua infinity, and mending. Uh, helmet there and for my weapon I am for my sword I have been breaking three sharpness for a knockback two looting three fire expect two and mending for my pickaxe I have efficiency four and breaking three mending and silk touch for my shovels just a base server you can read it right there for my bow I have power five punch two mending flame infinity and I'm breaking three and for my axe I just have silk touch with some basic stuff and I also have a second pair of boots right here which is frost walker uh, I only use them when I'm actually walking on water or whatever, but uh, I got two mending books here I'm probably gonna put it on This with some looting or something because the sharpness five I tried to combine it with this But it saves too much and it only gives me one more well point five actually point five Yeah, point five is more attack damage, but it just looks so much better when it's like that And then I have a uh, my v1 the first bow that I had which punch one but this one is v2 so has punch two uh, This is just basic stuff right here. So that's all for today's episode guys Thanks for watching. Let's go outside. Look at this uh, amazing, amazing scenery here. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Go to Jay, and I'm out. Peace.